We are ready to rock and roll in Omaha. Big East Hoops today in front of a sellout crowd in Creighton as the Blue Jays host the number 19 Providence Friars, the two most tenured coaches in the conference, Greg McDermott and Ed Cooley go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Hi again, everybody, and yeah, welcome to Omaha with Dickie Simpkins. Jeff Levering with you. Thanks for being with us this afternoon. And Dickie, two high-powered offenses today, two of the best, not just in this conference, but in the country. If you love offense, you're going to see it today. Two teams almost averaging 80 points a game. And the best thing about it, both teams have a variety of guys that can lead the path and putting the ball in the basket. You're looking at the Friars. One day it might be Locke. One game it might be Hawkins. One game it might be Carter. And then the Blue Jays. Sharman, Kaluma, Kalkbrenner all can put the ball in the basket. It will be a fun matchup today. Let's take a look at our starting lineups. They are brought to you by Jeep. There is only one in one of these matchups that you want to see. And, of course, there is no Jared Bynum available today. Still out with that abdominal strain for Providence. But Bryce Hopkins and Arthur Kaluma, that could be a fun matchup to watch. Yeah, Hopkins and Kaluma back for their sophomore season. Two sensational sophomores that are dynamic offensively. I'm going to want to see this matchup. It should be good. Bryce Hopkins, the Chicago native. First year in the Big East after transferring from Kentucky a year ago, averaging 16 points a ball game. He had 10 in the victory last week against St. John's. Providence has had the week off, whereas Creighton, they lost a tough one against Xavier last time out down at the Cintas Center earlier this week. They've lost two consecutive ball games after they have rattled off a few wins in a row. This Creighton team is going to be a problem. Don't let their 9-8 and eight record fool you. This is still one of the top teams in this conference, the way that they can fill it up with not their offense. Yeah, the Blue Jays' record is not indicative of the talent that they have on this roster. Keep in mind, this was a team that was picked first in the preseason Big East polls. They are talented. They just haven't come through on some close games. Just one in five in games decided by five points or less. We're ready to tip it off here in Omaha. Their sellout crowd is at Croswell. And Brian Kalkbrenner ready to tip. And the Friars of the afternoon and misses from the free throw line. Saw that sagging defense from Kalkbrenner. They'll give Croswell any outside shot he wants. It was good execution by the Friars on the first play. And the Kalkbrenner. Great feed from Alexander. Alexander has become an improved players coaches our best of friends both coaches are great for today's Athletes this generation of basketball players They know how to coach talent and coach guys up and give them room to be players Kaluma on the drive Kaluma has that versatility Shireman pulls down the rebound Shireman one of the great rebounders in the league and there's Kalkbrenner running the floor. Year in and year out, I love watching Coach McDermott's Here's team. Yeah, I don't, the Blue Jays are not really known for isolation, one-on-one -on -one playing basketball. Shireman on what looked like a really disjointed possession. Pays an Ironman with seven. He's had the only three of the game. I can't hear, I can't hear myself. Nemhart and company trying to build on a little momentum. Trey Alexander going to the line with a chance for one more. The 6'4", 190-pound guard, Trey Alexander. Alexander cut off nicely by Floyd. Very good defense by Corey Floyd Jr. Up top, Kalkbrenner. 
If you watch Carl Brenner right there, Jeff, he saw that he couldn't catch the luck. Again, you're going to hear me say this all day today. The ball will be in Hopkins to either score or make a play for his teammates right there. Seeing good vision and the drop off to Moore. Might not be a more valuable transfer than Hopkins, but Shireman's right on his tail as he drills a deep three. Both of these teams have valuable, they have gotten. Hey, Drew Carter, there's Shireman around the screen. Shireman's got the hot hand with 13. We told you this was going to be a high offense, high offense octane game. Shireman just. When you see the Friars playing through Croswell with no Hopkins on the court, they're playing, they're giving Croswell the green light. Kalkbrenner up to the task. Absolutely. Kalkbrenner with excellent defense there in the post. Great feed underneath. Parabello. My house. Kalkbrenner, one of the great shot blockers in the country. Underneath with some English. Mason Miller. Well, first of all, it starts down here on the deep. Alexander isolated. When Creighton can get good ball movement and body movement, that's when they're at their best. That's when they find good quality shots like I talked about at the Bill Open. Shireman just going around every Friar defender. Well, again, you get it because you have ball movement, body movement. Side to side, Shireman going downhill with momentum to attack the basket for the easy layup. Pretty good seal by Kalkbrenner as well to allow Shireman the freedom of movement. Now Farabello comes away with a basketball. Two on one. Alexander runs the break. That could be a goaltend. It is. Very effective. Just didn't make the layup. Gets the knee braces out. Another turnover for Providence. And there's Shireman running the floor. The best passing team in college. Providence with Hopkins on the bench with those two fouls. Yeah, you, you have to maintain with Hopkins on the bench. You have to think about getting it to Noah Locke and getting him some shots. Alexander just right into the teeth of the defense. The Blue Jays just putting on a basketball skills clinic with ball handling. Hesitation, crossovers, and most importantly, the passing. Carter behind the screen of Croswell was short. Nemhart has been almost a non-factor. Now, what a run that time by Shireman. That's too easy right there. If you're the Friars, if you're Coach Cooley, that's just too Air from the wing, wouldn't go. Tapped into the hands of Alexander, who nearly got pushed out of bounds by Carter. Alexander weaving his way through for an easy deuce. And right there, Alexander just being for his moments, starting off with that aggressive drive to the paint where he got fouled, and it's just carried over to transition, and it's helped ignite this Friars team on their comeback. Kaluma again back on the floor with those three fouls. Shireman as well. He'd been on the bench for a little break. Kalkbrenner goes right at Hopkins. And one. I don't know about that call right there, Jeff. Lock. On the handoff, drills another three. Well, that happened because Chris Moore, you have to respect him when he has the ball in that range. Kalkbrenner keeping a hand out. But unfortunately for the Blue Jays, Chris Moore is also skilled in passing. Kalkbrenner, and Moore was right there to deny, but Kalkbrenner's there. Jeff, you said to be denied. Kalkbrenner said, I will not be denied. Follows. And now only two in the second half. You have one of your most versatile offensive players sitting on the bench. That is a crucial disadvantage for the Blue Jays. And Providence on this run. There's a steal by Creighton. Nemhard pulls it back out. The crowd has almost been a non-factor here for much of the second half because of this Providence run. Kaluma passed up the three. Now Nemhart. And this is an arena where the crowd can really rock and roar in here. And the Friars are doing a good job keeping them, which I call the six man out of it. And how about that? Roll at the rim from Kalkbrenner. Alexander 
And then Shaka Smart, he just has those young guys and that team playing at a high level with energy and intensity. They're playing just like his head coach wants them to. One loss in conference play, and it was these Friars in double overtime as Kaluma finally on the offensive end. And this matchup is Star Wars in the Big East. Not coming into the season, you wouldn't think that, no he doubt. He averages 14 points a game, and one of the reasons is because of his offensive rebounding and his deliberate knack to be aggressive in the paint when he gets the ball. Kaluma went right at block and a chance for three. The 6'7 sophomore Kaluma to execute. Hopkins trying to create space. Kalkbrenner with the block. Croswell there. Kind of threw a palm ball up at the rim. Shireman trying to get it to Kalkbrenner. Great finish. Croswell has 4,000 knew it. And that was just the vision of Sh Sh working the ball around to get a better shot. He could have get that at the end of the shot clock. Kaluma on the drive. Kaluma. Another layup underneath Hopkins. Timeout. Providence. Final Providence timeout of the ball game. 59 seconds to go. I said the crew. Got to get this ball in. Farabello to do it. Kaluma's got it. Nemhart has an opportunity to run this thing out. And Creighton is going to finish off the upset of number 19 Providence. Their nine game winning streak comes to a halt in Omaha. Blue Jays getting some home cooking. Stepping up. Being able to withstand the Friars' push on their comeback and delivering a win as a team with players stepping up, Shiremen stepping up, scoring, Colt Brenner being an effective, big in the paint, and delivering the win. Great victory for Creighton. Six-point win over number 19 Providence for Dickie Simpkins and our entire crew here in Omaha. I'm Jeff Levering saying so long. Now let's send it out for Creighton and Butler for some women's hoops action.